All right, so long story short, you know, I have cellular my lips, so right? Copy, so I went to this place that does like fillers and all and types of stuff here. and treatments for cellulite and everything like that, right? So anyway, I have this hump in my nose, right? And wait, Dante keep texting me. He's saying, yo, 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 yo. Hold on, Dante. Let me just tell him the story real quick. So like, um... Anyway, um, shoot, what was I saying? Oh, I had this hump in my nose and I, I went there to get my cellulite treatments and then I asked her about I asked her about nose fillers. Like I'm like, what can I do about this hump in my nose? I don't want to get surgery, but like I just want to see how it look to see if it's like straight, like if it will go straight, no right? So she was like, Oh, it probably would work. You know, we would take this little dip out right here, because I have a hump right here. We would take the little dip out by filling it in right here and making it appear straight i said okay she i said what's the what's the downtime she was like well you would swole for about for about um seven to ten days and like you your nose will get bruised and all around your eyes i was like no nah, never mind forget that because i got things to do i got promo I, I just did a did a bunch of interviews and so i was like hmm i mean well then how my lips look like what's the downtime on that she was like oh it'll just probably be swollen for a week but not a week she said it'll be swollen for like maybe over like 24 to 72 hours so but it'll go down so i was like mm, can't be that bad um so i just got some fillers on my lips it's not because i hated my lips it's not because i f like feel like i have um you know like i don't know I, 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 it's not like i feel like i don't have any lips it's just you know i was thinking okay if i don't get my nose done then maybe um my lips if i if i make my lips a little bit bigger it will kind of take the distraction oh shoot off of my um my hump in my nose so maybe if people look at my lips they won't look at my nose i don't know like it just really was like not i was like okay so it will it will kind of go away it will go away you know it's just because i just feel like and i never used to be the type to go and do stuff to my face but the truth of the fact of the matter of the fact people take pictures of me all the time like i could be anywhere like and i will like go online in my tags and see a picture of me in a, at a bad angle and i'll be like you know what and then when That's i 11 25 my time right? when i be in, on my video shoots well my lips don't look bad now because the swollen went down okay but um Oh, by the way, you guys, at 11.45, go to YouTube because there's a YouTube released um, thing. But anyway, as I was saying, you know, like people just always taking pictures of me. And you as a public influencer or a celebrity or whatever you guys want to call me. Okay. Like your pictures being all over the Internet, like you want the good angles. Don't nobody post a bad angles on the Internet. But, you know, after a while, I was just like, hmm, maybe I, did, I mean, I didn't need them, but they're they're cute, you know. I didn't want to touch my nose because I feel like your nose can change your whole entire face. Yeah, there's an in, um, perfection okay, can I ask one about my nose. Before everybody goes, so but I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave both laptops open and in the live control room. That's cool. Um, but what was I gonna say? Um, and then I call I get the number, so easily. the same number back. We're getting on the same. Yo, what is that in the staircase? Okay, cool. Stop scaring me, bro. All right. Thank you. Ain't nothing on staircase. Yeah, no problem. Talk to you soon. Yeah, Bye. but um, <clears throat> that's what I was going to say to you guys. Like, you know, it's an imperfection, but everybody has imperfections. And I just guess that I just wanted to try something different, you know? Um... You know, it's. I feel like it's not a big deal because it can go away. Like these fillers aren't gonna last. Like probably in six months, they're gonna go back to regular, and you probably won't even notice, or you probably will. But I feel like it's me, it's my body, you know, it's my face, and I should be able to do what I want with my money, with my face and my body. Whatever makes me happy. I used to really care about like, oh, what if they say this? What if they say that? But I don't care anymore because. It's whatever makes me happy. At the, end of, at the end of the day, you guys don't have to look in the mirror and see me. Y'all look in the mirror and see y'all self. You feel me? How was Cardi B's party? It was nice. It was a nice little lit little vibe, you know? 
You know <sighs> me though. Like I'm not like really a you farted. Just kidding. No, um, man. I'm not really a um. Lee hates farts, so like anytime I ask her, did she fart? She get mad. Y'all know me though. Like I'm not like really a, a crazy drinker or like a twerker too much. You know, I just kind of stand in the corner, bounce a little bit, and just you know, enjoy the aesthetic of the room. You know, um, but it was nice. What pushed you to do R and B? Do well, you sometimes feel like you're anorexic? No, not at all. I don't feel like I look anorexic. I'm very far from that. No. Can you get me one? Did you do your eyebrows? Yeah, I just got them threaded today. I that I left them. You don't need it? No, I got some. Sorry, I'm trying to um, find the rest of them. Okay, so what pushed me to do R&B? No. Like, I just kind of grew up off of it. You know, I grew up off of... My mom used to play... Um, <laughs> The blues and all of that stuff and like just all types of music from the seventies through the nineties and I used to be like, Oh, turn this off mom, like turn off this old people what? What? I was like, Turn off this old people stuff, mom. And she was like, Don't worry, you're gonna understand when you get older and like I finally understand, yo. Like there's no music as good as like back in the day. Like you don't get those same feelings from like I don't know. Y'all might be young, but all I know is this new music, like, it's good. Don't get me wrong. But there's, like, it's not the same. Like, you don't get the same gut-wrenching, like, feeling that digs deep into your tits. You know what I'm saying? It don't dig deep into your tits. Into your tits. It don't dig deep there. You know what I'm saying? It's just don't like. Don't touch this, okay? I'm going to touch it. I'm going to touch it. I'm going to no, touch it. No, for real. It's like those melodies, like the way they sung their hearts out, the way they didn't care about just singing about love and like being vulnerable and just like there's nothing like that. So I just wanted to, you know, be one of those to to not bring it back because there's other R&B artists with good R&B music, but it's more vibey. It's more like modern and my stuff is modern, too. That's why I took a long time to, you know, uh, release my album because I was working on music and i'm just like no i love old school i love old school and it started to sound a little bit too old school so i was like no i still gotta do what you know i still gotta make it modern so it took me you know a while to really find that sound and um i found it you know and i feel like it's a classic album i feel like it's i really have a lot of confidence in this album like you know and i and the the point is i love this album you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people will, and I know a lot of people probably won't. But the point is, I love it. As long as I love it, you know, and, and then there's some people behind me, I'm completely okay with that. Would you do a remake of gospel or your own gospel? So here's the thing. Um, of course, I grew up singing in church, you guys, and pretty sure you guys know that already. But I, I grew up singing in church and like, that, uh, uh, that's an, another genre that like you just feel in your soul like gospel really do something to me like um i feel like gospel just deserves god deserves his own album it don't need to be mixed with nothing like all of this like love music and experience music and all that stuff um he deserves his own you know so yeah you and Tiana need to do this, do a song. Yes, I would love to do a song, Tiana. I love your music. I'm excited for the release. My baby sleep. She's doing the surgery. I told you I was going to put her to sleep. Can you stop sampling Legends music just to make your own music sound good? Be original. Okay, Miss Lady, Miss Mamas, listen to me. First of all, you're probably your favorite artist have sampled all people do is sample yes people make their own original stuff and i can make original stuff that still sounds good but i'm gonna do what i want with my music if i want to sample 100,000 people's stuff that's what i'm gonna do because i can do a good sample you know what i'm saying everybody can't do a good sample um you know what i'm saying like shut up <laughs> skedaddle um all right what else and just don't listen. Just don't listen. Because I will be a legend. I'm claiming. In Jesus' name. How's your mental health been? 
I've been good. I've been pretty good. Can't complain. You know, normal people stuff. I'm just a normal human, you know. Every day ain't perfect, but every day ain't a disaster either. Does legend talk? Yes, legend is talking more and more. Um, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of negative people that just come to watch me just to be negative. Like, ugh. Like, man. So negative. It's just so ugly. Just so ugh. Anyway. Please. Go purchase the album. Um, people say we low-key look alike. I said I wish. Jerry, why are y'all so negative? Do you, how do you feel about that little girl that sings? You know, I looked at that little girl that I posted on my story and and um I was just like I seen myself in her. You know, when I was little, when I was little and I did a talent show, um, third grade and I sung the Christina Aguilera song, I am beautiful, like that was me. I was like standing there in that red leather fur coat. And I was just singing my little heart out. And that was the first time I performed in front of so many people. And people was crying. I had adults crying, you guys. So I was like, wow, this is, whew, I love this. That's the part I don't understand. What's the reason? What else? Queen, I have a serious question. Well, then ask it. Somebody said, your, your hat giving me white boy skater vibe, like Todd or Jason. Yeah, man, my name's Todd. Trade though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, my name is Dylan. And I have a skateboard. I'm gonna get my skateboard, skateboard, and beat you in the head with it. Yeah, dude. Had yeah, that total, totally sour lemonade. Come here, dude. Ooh. Come here, dude. Why? Dude, you're rude. I don't want to be on Come on, man. My name's Jason. Jason Dylan Black Burger. <laughs> what is I was trying to come up with a white person last name. Hey, no. White, per white people, y'all, listen. I'm not a racist. But white people be having the funniest last names, bro. Like, yo, they like they be having those last names like Brittany Look. Hampton Hampton Clanker surgery. My she dies. Like, oh exactly my God, Lee, I'm just Lee, you. Jesus, why are you bringing me that negative energy? If I got my boobs in, I would make sure I would go to the right people huh but i'm not gonna get them done because they told me they told me that my breast is too wide and they would have to do a humongous implant and i don't want to i don't want no busty busty hollywood but who knows if i would if i change my mind in two weeks guess what that's on me that's on me <laughs> hampton clanker <laughs> i said i said Brittany hampton clanker <laughs> Listen, don't tell me what to talk about on live. If people, if people want to take offense to everything, then they can just take offense to it. Because I know that I don't mean anything by what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm misunderstood. That's why I named my album that. I'm a very misunderstood person. People don't understand my humor. If you don't understand it, then just psh, leave. But, um, yeah, like, I'm, you know, just let me be myself. Gosh darn it. Like. People never let me be me. You know what I'm saying? They never let me be me. I talk a lot. I really do. I talk a lot. When I'm alone, I talk to myself. You know what I'm saying? And I just have a weird kind of humor. And people don't get it. There's, I have so many different layers to me and so many different sides. Like I'm such a, like a Libra. It's just like people don't get it. But you want to know something, you guys? <sighs> I love my album. I'm so happy. Somebody said be in a movie already. I'm just too much. I'm too much for a lot of people, you know? I'm just such a weird person. It's like, I'm so awkward. 
when I was at Cardi B's party, um, I think I was sitting next to Miami and I no Carisha, and I was like, I said something. I was I was like, I'm just awkward. I don't know why I said that. Like, why would I say that to her? Like, hey, I'm yeah, I'm just awkward. She was like, I don't think you awkward. And I was just like, I'm awkward. Like, I feel awkward because I'm not like really like. I'm telling you guys, I'm not no party person, but like I like to have fun, but it's just like I'm really awkward in real life. But I'm like a funny awkward. You know, I'm not like a uncomfortable, like a make you feel uncomfortable awkward. I'm just kind of like a strange. You ever seen The Office? It's kind of just like, you know, I awkwardly funny. And that's, I feel, I feel like I'm like that, you know? And like, that's only one part of me. Like, I can be a lot. I can be sexy. I can be. What else can I be, Lee? What? It's so many sides of me. Like, what's, what's, like, right now, what is this? This is my, like, talkative side. Like, don't I have different sides? Like, what's my other side? Yeah, you do have different sides. What y'all talking about over there? Oh, yeah, what y'all giggling about? My outfit. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm just really, like, I can't stand how people want you to make me it? out to be this, like, um, like problematic person. I'm so unproblematic, like. I don't want beef with nobody. Like, I just really, I just really, you know, I just wish people understand me. Like, people just take my words to a And then when I try to be all just like, you know, reserved or, you know, conservative, then people say I'm boring. And it's just like, what do you guys want? What do you want from me? Like, what do you want? No, I'm not high. This is like, this is, this is why I don't smoke. Because if I smoke, I have smoked before, but if I smoke on a regular basis, Way worse. this is nothing. If I drunk, if I drank on a regular basis, y'all don't want to see that side. I haven't let myself see that, see that side because I'm scared. I'm scared of what I could become. I'm scared of what I would do. I don't even know what I would do if I, if I was a drunk, you know? And it's just like, you know, I have gotten high before, though. I ain't going to lie to y'all. And, like, I could not stop laughing. Like, everything, like, it was, it was so weird. Everything just looked so funny. Like, everything was just, like, squiggly. <laughs> like, I ain't going to lie. Yo, I ain't going to lie. Mod. Mod was in the kitchen. He was grabbing some out the refrigerator. And I was just looking at him. He just looked so squiggly. <laughs> He looks so funny. It's like he just turned into this cartoon character that was just like squiggling. And like, yo, it was so funny. I could not, I could not stop laughing. Like everything was so funny. And like, I, then I sat down on the couch and I just got scared. I was like, oh no, nah. what's wrong with me? Like, I'm really scared. Like, yo, I was so scared. I was like, please, please, please let this high go away. Let this high go away. Cause I was like, everything just started to, to look like cartoonish. And I was just like, yeah, this ain't for me. This is not for me. And like, you you know how like, you know how like, I don't know about you, but me, like when I get scared, right? I try to make myself, oh my God, where's my filter? <laughs> I try to make myself like feel normal, you know, like by I keep talking to myself. But it's like, I don't know, you know, I, you know. I just be still like, I just still be, I don't know what I'm saying right now, but yeah, I just be trying to make it seem like I'm normal and I'm, and I'm not, I'm really high. I'm so high and I'm laughing at everything. That's why I don't get high and that's why I don't drink. So you're not doing a sweater? Somebody said, man, I need whatever you were smoking. Listen. I was panicking so bad, but it was so funny, bro. Probably mama queen. She's about to come do my toes, Iman. Yo, hey, honestly, did y'all just see my filter go away or was that just me? No, but see, drinking, let me tell you guys about drinking. Hold on. I could have, let me tell y'all something. I went to Jada's party, right? I went to Jada's party and I had that little pouch of juice, right? I know y'all seen that little pouch in my hand. The thing with me when I drink, I could just drink, a t like take maybe three sips and yo, I just get horny. 
I just get so like freaky. Like I just, I'm that kind of, I'm that kind of, I'm that kind of drinker. It's like if I drink something, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting a little freaky. You know what I'm saying? But if I get high, I'm, I get like paranoid and and everything's funny and very hungry. But you know. I'm not gonna lie. One time, you know, I was stressing out one day. I was stressing out one day, and like, I was like, you know what? Maybe I just need to calm my nerves. And I think I, I, I had like a little small, tiny joint, you know. And I, and I, I calmed down. I still was a little loopy, but I calmed down, and it kind of relaxed me, you know. So I'm not like a. When I say I'm not a smoker, I'm not like completely trying to lie to you. I'm really not a smoker. But I, I've done it before. You get what I'm saying? But if I do, some things you just need to keep to just clearance. Listen, like I said, I'm gonna be myself, okay? If you don't, if you don't want to hear it or like, let me just be myself. That's the thing. People are always, yo, throughout my whole entire like career, I started on YouTube, and people know I was always transparent. I always was myself, and like. Throughout my career, people just like, just wanted to put me in this like box. Oh no, don't say that. Don't do that. Don't act this way. Don't be yourself. And it's like, I'm tired of not being myself for the happiness of other people. Or because people will think that I'm weird. I'm not like this all the time. You know, I just happen to be in a very talkative mood. And I'm on my live. And if you don't want it, then leave. Period. Um, yeah, it's just super annoying, man. It's super annoying. I hate when people tell me what to do. That's one, that's my number one, like, pet peeve. Like, don't tell me what to do. Like, you can be yourself, but don't tell your business. Obviously, if I told my, if I told this, it's like, I'm okay with you guys knowing. If I wasn't, trust me, it's some things that you guys don't know. And I'm not going to say it. Lee, why do they try to do that to me? Why are you trying to make me shut up? Like, do I, like, Lee, do I need, am I saying something wrong? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what? Nothing, you're just being yourself. That's it. Am I, like, you should be am talking, I telling too much? You should talk, be talking to the people in here. And where? Oh, snaps. I was waiting for your video. Anyway. Shh, don't try to kill my vibe. That's all I'm saying. Don't don't kill my vibe. Where's the vlogs? Psh, you tell me. I need to get back on. Ooh, your scalp smell good. I smell from over here. Let me smell. Ooh, I like that smell. I like that scalp smell. <laughs> Let me smell your scalp over here. I like that smell. Does anybody like the smell of scalp? Like, not dirty scalp. Just like, it's like a, like a oily smell. Like, <laughs> Do you got hands? <laughs> Do what? Yeah. I mean, they're right here. I got hands, yeah. Do a lot with these hands. But you know, like, man. Anyway, really, I just came on here to just chop it up with you guys and just like, you know, tell you guys, you know, promote the album, Misunderstood. Although I'm a very playful, energetic person, you know, this album really speaks for itself. You know, it got the vibes. I'm good for one. Yeah. And I also yeah, still have. It's amazing how people can hear things they don't know. Yeah, if you've been following me since YouTube, I appreciate you and I love you and thank you for sticking with me. You know what I'm saying? I love the whole queendom. I love the whole queendom. I love you guys so 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 much. You didn't tell me it was a hundred months. Thank you so much. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, when's your birthday? Before I go, um, I'm gonna do this for y'all. I'm gonna make a clap. It's true. 
That's not clapping. <laughs> it's not clapping. It usually does. I think I got to pull my pants down. I'm not going to do it right now. Wait, wait. Let me try to pull my pants down, but I'm going to go over here and I'm going to see if it make a sound. Hold on. Oh my God, it's making noise. Oh, wait. Wait, pull up your pants. <laughs> Y'all hear that? No. <laughs> Y'all hear that? <laughs> it just clapped. Y'all hear that? Because <laughs> I, I know I can make it clap. But it wasn't doing it with the sweatpants on. Right. <laughs> Yo, you should have just seen how that was looking at me. But y'all heard that? It, it did it. Anyway, as much as I make that clap, you know, I really want y'all to make this album clap. You know what I'm saying? Make that album clap. Mm -hmm. Listen, I know you got ten dollars. I know you got ten dollars. With legend? Where you guys give me? If you guys got ten dollars, you know. I love you. But um, you know, another thing is I wanted to do something special for the people that um Pre, I mean, yeah, pre-save or pre-added. Yo, it's gone again. It's gone again. Come back, filter. Come back. Come back. There we go. I wanted to do something special. Like, I wanted to do, like, um, a Zoom call, you know, where I can communicate with. Come on, bro. Somebody said Apple Music is free. Come on. Don't kill my vibe. I need them sales. But anyway, um, I want to do, like, a Zoom call. How many people can you do on Zoom? Well, hey, wait. None of you guys get high as me. Well, matter of fact, none of you guys get high as me. Wait, is that the world? What's my drip on? Wait, wait, hold on. Mo, we're gonna go with you tomorrow. Okay. So we go together. Yeah, we can go together. How you do the world? Wait. Ah. Anyway, um, but I wanted to. Not do, oh, you can do hundred people. Okay, there are there are one hundred eighty five. So, but no, would what? that be like smart to do a Zoom with a hundred people though? Because like, truthfully, I might not even be able to like have a good Zoom call. I want to have conversations with you guys. Bruh, but that's too much for a pair of socks. What's up, Coco? Wait, somebody spent a hundred on a pair of socks? No, but she didn't tell me the socks were $195. What, the I'll Gucci socks? I'll get you some $30 socks. Girl, get her some Gucci socks. No. I got you. I'm sorry. You do so much for us. <laughs> Let me. Sure, sure, right. sure. I got you. Oh my God, it's gone again. Come okay, back. I got you. All right, bye. Have your knees been good lately? Um, honestly, one of them been popping out of place lately. Like I was at Lee's house and I kind of tripped up the stairs. You got too many fans. I just want you to myself. Talk to me, sis. I'm here, baby. I'm here. I want to do the cup challenge, y'all. I'm about to do the cup challenge. 